This past weekend, the White House opened its garden for a spring tour celebrating Mother's Day. I was fortunate to visit the day before, enjoying the blossoms and discovering new additions. Let's explore some lesser known facts about the garden together. The garden tradition at the White House traces back to Thomas Jefferson, who established the first garden, setting the stage for future presidential endeavors. During World War II, First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt planted a victory garden to promote self sufficiency and boost morale during wartime. First Lady Michelle Obama Obama created a vegetable garden on the South Lawn in 2009, promoting healthy eating habits and education about fresh produce. Established in 1913 by First Lady Ellen Wilson, the White House Rose Garden underwent significant renovations during the Kennedy administration. It serves as a picturesque backdrop for presidential events and ceremonies. Adorning the White House grounds are historic trees, including the Jackson Magnolia, planted by President Andrew Jackson, and the Eisenhower Oak, planted by President Dwight Eisenhower. Under the Obama administration, beehives were installed to support pollination, accompanied by pollinator garden providing habitat for bees, butterflies, and other beneficial insects. Uh, when we first got into the White House, uh, I met Charlie, who was telling me about uh, the bees uh, that he kept at his house. It really came together fast from there, and we got it in here in late March, and it's been doing good ever since. If you ever get a chance to explore either fall or spring garden tour at the People's House, I strongly recommend you to do so.